Okay, in this video, we're going to use Rhino to make a vertical tessellation, as shown here. And this could be a tower, it could be a lampshade. So let's get started. To begin with, I'm just going to open up a new file. And I'm going to choose Large Objects Feet. I'm going to work primarily in the perspective view, so I'll just maximize that. And I'm going to set up my units. So one unit equals one foot. I'm going to change my distance display to feet inches. And I'm going to use my grid. So I'm going to set my grid extents to 250 feet. I'm going to say minor grid lines every 10 feet. And major lines every one minor grid line. So that all my minor grid lines are going to be heavy. And I want to snap to those grid lines. So my snap spacing needs to be set to 10 feet. Okay, so we're going to use a 12-sided polygon, so a dodecagon. And we're going to do that by using the polygon command and making sure our number of sides is set to 12. And I'm going to snap to the origin of the XY axis. So you have to make sure that your snap is on at the bottom of your screen. So I'm going to go ahead and snap to that. And my radius is just going to be 10 feet. So I'm going to use my grid snap to create that. So here's our first 12-sided polygon. I'm going to go ahead and copy this up vertically, 3 feet. So I'm going to select it, type in the command copy. I'm going to click vertical equal to yes. I want to copy it along the z-axis and point to copy from is going to be the origin and I'm going to copy this up three feet so I'll type in three feet enter and I'm going to place that vertically next thing I'm going to do is rotate this so let's take a look at this in our top view so I'm going to go ahead and rotate it from the end point to the midpoint of one of the sides. So I'm going to type in rotate and I'm going to use my origin as my center of rotation and my reference is going to be from this endpoint to this midpoint which is 15 degrees. And now I have the apex of the lower polygon right in line with the midpoint of the upper polygon. We have this rotated 12-sided polygon. And now we're going to begin with our folded planes that will make our tessellation. So I'm going to type in layer, enter, and bring up my layers window. And I'm going to go ahead and make layer 1 current by double-clicking on it. I'm going to double-click on the words layer 1. And this is going to be my surfaces. And just making sure that's current, I can close that. So I'm going to start by making my triangles. So I'm going to type in the command polyline. And I'm going to draw from end of my lower polygon to end of my upper polygon, making a triangle. And I'll create a second one. So these are closed polygons which is important so I can take these closed triangles and I can use the command planar planar surface and if I set my viewport to shaded by clicking on my middle sphere okay there you see those triangles and what I want to do is I want to bring up my properties panel and I want to change this to get rid of the ISO curves that show up. So I can do that by selecting those two surfaces and from this properties panel I can uncheck show surface ISO curve and those won't be visible. Okay, so we need to array this. We can use a polar array to array around the 12 sided polygon. So I can start to type in array and I'm going to choose Array Polar. And the center is going to be the origin of the polygon. 
The number of items in the array should be 12, one for each side. And the angle to fill should be 360. Okay, so there is our first level. So now, to create our second level, we need to copy all of those planar surfaces. We need to actually copy and rotate them to align with the second or upper polygon. So we can do that with an orient command. So first, let me select all of my surfaces. So if I type, start to type in SEL and I get all my selection filters, I'm looking for select surface. So I'm going to just continue typing SRF, enter, and that selects all my surfaces and leaves the curves behind. So now I'm going to use my command orient and it's looking for two reference points and this is, these are going to be my reference points these two bottom ends and then it's going to look for two target points which are going to be on the upper polygon which will be these two. Now I have to make sure that copy is equal to yes because we're really doing a copy rotate with this command. So copy equal yes so reference point one reference point two target point one and target point two and that does our copy rotate for us okay I'm gonna copy all of this up to finish this vertical tessellation but I wanna hide all my curves I don't wanna copy those up with it so I'm gonna do my SEL and I'm gonna use SEL curve select all my curves I can type in the command hide and now I'm just left with my surfaces and I can simply select them all and use the copy command and copy these up vertically and there you have it the vertical tessellation